Hello everyone, this is Nancy again coming back to you with another video. In this video, I am going to share with you how to using sculpting foam with dipping powder. So back in some of my video, you already see that I'm using dipping powder on the natural nails as well as on the extension tips. And now we're going to try the dipping powder with sculpting foam. So let's get started. In this video, I am going to choose stiletto nails and I'm using it's just regular form you can get from any supplies, local supplies. And as you can see, you can do a different designs, encapsulate different like flowers, foil flakes and anything that you were thinking of. And it's really easy. It's just like a different step that you have to place a form on the nails. You are using the same step, you know, from one to number four and uh, you can just achieve the same thing but it's different that you're using a sculpting form as you can see i done four nails already and i'm gonna leave the rings fingers that i'm gonna demonstration and share with you i'm removing um the thumbnails right now is all from the form and i just uh do it the thin layer before i'm going to the encapsulate or place some designs on it so I'm doing it, take off the thumbs and then on my uh, pointy finger and you can see the design after I done, it's beautiful. So now let's go into the rings finger. So first we wanna place the form on the rings fingers. You make sure your line, the form is correct. So then when you're sculpting it, the um, powder and the liquid essentials is not gonna go all over places. And this one is different from the gels that the gels, you know, is might be run all over places but if you can't control it. With the dipping, it stay in one place. So place is, apply the number two gel base and then sprinkle one layer of the powder. And I'm using a clear. And then we do another coat repeating it. It's just go all different edges and just really thin coat. And you apply it it to make sure it's all evenly and then sprinkle and set second time. And then if you need to go back to the third time, you can go and make sure that the right length will need the right ratios and then the thickness. So then your nails will be have enough, it's not gonna break at the wicked points. And then we'll apply it again and the sprinkle with another coat of the clear on it. You can do any colors, you can do pink, you can do any color of the color charts that you have. So I'm gonna apply the gel base again, but all entire the fingernails. And at this time, to seal it all completely, the powder that I haven't had have chance of absorbing it with the, with the beige gels. And then we're going right into activator to activate it to help it dry before we can remove the foam. So you wait after you're done with all five nails, you can go ahead and remove the foam. And you can see the shape of it, it's beautiful. And uh, we just shape it the shape that you would like to. Cause this time we're gonna do still lateral. And then I just like have uh, gently shape it. And it's completely dry now and without any LED and UV light. And I uh, make sure the surface is even nicely. And then you can see that the C curve, uh, make sure that it's all, it don't have a hump in there. And then I'm gonna place in uh, four different uh, flick foils. I'm gonna do a silver one, uh, yellow gold, rose gold, rusty gold. And you can just like apply the gel base and ran randomly place your foil, flick foils, you know, to randomly places and just fill them up. And just automatically stick it on the gel base. And now I'm applying the gel base again and I'm sprinkle the clear powder to just encapsulate it. You must encapsulate it. And I do the second coat with the repeating step. Apply the gel base to seal all the powders and then apply the activator number three on. And when it let it dry and you can start it reshaping them, make sure you get it all of them evenly and nice shape because you don't want lumpies and all that. And then this uh, with the dipping, you don't need a lot of filing. So I'm just go buff it. And just make sure it's all even and smooth and wipe all the excess dust off. And apply number three again, the activator to help with the dry number four. So without this step, your number four will never dry. So I have even applies underneath too. And then now we're going to the top gels number four. It 
lightly and gentle using a feather touch technique. And then do the second coat, the same thing. For all and tie the nail, and I'm using the same top coat number four and to apply it in and to um, put any right stone it on. And you gently just place the right stone after you apply number four, and it will stay there up to two weeks and it's not going anywhere. It's gonna last really well. You'll be surprised. And here you go that is sculpting dipping powder with Polaris nail system. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video is really helpful and you can bring it back to the salon and uh, try it. And it's really interesting, it's really fun. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave it below and I will try my best to answer all the questions. Thank you again and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!